I have been searching since my early teens for the answer to those questions that I think everyone at one point or another wonders about. Is there a God? What is God? Who am I really? What is my purpose here? What is the soul and can that be experienced? The idea for this exhibit began many years ago after a spiritual experience that I had in my early 20s. I would return from this experience forever changed because from that point on, I would look at the physical world through the eyes of this experience. I now see the physical body, the mind and the emotions as the tools that the soul uses to express itself. The mosaic style of painting that I am currently using was developed specifically for this project. In this exhibit, I use images, symbols, and written words in an attempt to bring the viewer with me on my inner journey to the core of being, the spiritual heart. I have received many blessings in my life, but like most of you, life sometimes brings events that are challenging and painful. As a young person, I always felt close to spirit, but my spiritual quest would be accelerated when I lost my father at 16 years of age and realized that same year that the friends that I thought I had didn't have my best interests at heart. The pain that I felt was truly heartbreaking. I would pray to God to bring me home. I didn't feel I belonged in this world. It was too painful. I didn't realize until many years later that hidden within the pain was a great gift. The pain had led me to a great spiritual journey. And by the age of 24, I would be given a glimpse of the inner temple the great central sun, that part of me where creator and creation are one. It was as if the entire universe had opened inside me. I had been given a glimpse of home. From that moment on, I would no longer believe that I had a soul, but I would know that I am the soul. On that day, I received a great blessing. This experience is with me every moment of every day. It's the driving force behind my creative endeavors and everything that I do. I believe that everything happens for a reason and I am extremely grateful for all of these experiences. My goal is to inspire people with my creative endeavors, to inspire you to begin your own spiritual journey. And for those of you who have already begun your journey, my wish is that you will celebrate with me the many blessings that come on that journey. Welcome to my piece of the Great Mosaic, My Inner Journey. The Call of the Spirit We are all called to follow Spirit. These are the words of my Spirit calling to me. He tells me that He is power and wisdom, that He is the Spirit of Freedom. He calls to me, Come and follow me. To the light, he tells me, he shall bring me. Many dark tunnels we shall meet along the way, but with love and wisdom we shall greet them, for he is the eternal flame that shall light my way. 
he calls to me, come and follow me. Here we stand. For me, trees are like people. The two trees in the painting are like two souls standing and growing together in the world. And always there with them is their light. I stand before thee. Creator of my being, I stand before thee, sincere in my search for your truth. My greatest wish is that I may be an expression of your greatness and love in this world. And most of all, that I may serve thee always. Creator of my being, I stand before thee, sincere in my search for your truth. God's hands. I am a flame, climbing, climbing towards God. I go up and give him all that I am, and he descends and gives me all that he is. He wishes me to be his hands. So I listen to his voice with loving attention, and lo and behold, I am his hands. Supreme Creator, in the void of silence, you revealed yourself to me. The vastness of your being has touched and changed me beyond measure. For this, I am forever grateful. Who I am and who I am not, the physical body, I am not, the intellectual mind, I am not, the emotional body, I am not. These three things are tools of expression used by who I really am. Karina's prayer. Father, watch over all the little ones under my care so that they may grow to express the greatness of who they are. Julia's prayer. Creator of my being, open the hearts of mankind so that they may hear the music of their own heart. Metamorphosis. We are all pieces in the great mosaic of life. We all choose the color and shape of our piece. And in this way, we affect the world in which we live. To transform ourselves is to transform our world. The eggs in the painting represent the process of creation and how we create with our thoughts, our actions, and beliefs. The butterflies represent how we can change or transform these thoughts, these actions, and these beliefs. Change is really up to us. Personal transformation is an excellent tool for the transformation of our society, the planet, and the universe. When we transform ourselves, we not only change our peace in the universe, but affect all the pieces that surround us and as a result, cause a ripple effect throughout the universe. It is my belief 
that like the pieces of a great mosaic, we are all meant to join together to create in this world a picture of great beauty. These paintings and words are my attempt at expressing my piece of the great mosaic. Join with me on the quest for truth. Search for who you really are. Listen to who you really are. Express in this world that which you really are. Spirit is calling you to reveal your peace of the great mosaic. We are a vast and boundless spirit. We are an expression of God's limitless potential. We are God in action. We are the many pieces of one great spirit. We are one family and we are a great mosaic. The dance of the undoing. I have learned that I must first hear the call of spirit. That sincerity is the key that will open all doors. That I must have love and devotion for the creator and its creation. This requires the practice of inner listening and respect for all living things. I must surrender my entire being into the fire of the spirit. With surrender comes the experience of unity with spirit and all of its creation. The experience of unity activates the process of transformation of the entire being. With the dawn of transformation, one becomes the conscious instrument of the soul, which is divine light. This is the dance of the undoing, the undoing of the illusion of separation between myself, my creator, and all of its creation. This is the path that I walk in the journey that I take to return home. The treasure and the gift. The greatest treasure you could ever find is yourself. The greatest gift you could ever give this world is yourself. Search within yourself for the source of this physical form you believe yourself to be. And when you find yourself in this place, live from this place, listen, speak, and create from this place. Let the spirit rise within you to not only transform you, but also to transform this world with the gift of you. You are it, the treasure and the gift. I thank you for allowing me to share with you a piece of myself. It is my hope that I have touched and inspired you to see yourself. Who you are is what I am, and what I am is who you are.